In seven things to know for the day. Number one, in Iowa, the Senate's proposal for mid year cuts is moving right along with reductions that won't be as steep as expected. Yesterday, the Senate advanced a bill that would cut $32 million to state agencies and departments to plug a revenue shortfall that would balance the budget. Number two, the Quincy Chamber of Commerce providing some grant money in hopes of creating more economic development. Entrepreneurs in Adams County can apply for a $10,000 grant for concrete business plans. The idea behind the grant is to foster new business and business expansion. Number three, a new warning from the FDA says the popular herbal supplement Kratom may affect the body the same way opioids do. The FDA now says it may not be safe. Its research reports it has been linked to 44 deaths. Number four, Asian markets are lower this morning following a major dip in U.S. markets. The Dow plummeted more than 1,000 points yesterday into solid correction territory. Number five, the White House is under scrutiny for what it knew when about ex-aide Rob Porter. Porter resigned after allegations of spousal abuse involving two ex-wives. The White House says Chief of Staff John Kelly only fully knew about the accusations this week. Number six, the government is shut down once again after the Senate failed to vote on a spending bill before the midnight deadline. Senator Rand Paul held up the vote in order to make his case against spending uh, happening just in the last few hours. The Senate did vote to pass. It now moves on to the House. And number seven, temperatures steadily falling as we speak here in the tri-states as we are still into the 20s as you head north into southeast Iowa, but still holding steady in the upper 30s to lower 40s in the southern stretch.